Hello everybody, this is Revealing Light Tarot. Um, given I've just read, read on the bomb, the bomb threats, I just wanted to quickly bring you forward a message today, uh, for today, that might assist you. Um, and when I opened up for the reading, um, I got, you know, come, come back uh, through your, your, the door to your home and notice what's around you. Um, enjoy your your immediate environment. Take your focus away from the 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 bigger, uh, I guess, global or, or you know, US and global environment. Bring your your view or your focus right back to to your own home and your immediate environment, and really notice that. Really feel that environment, um, and. That's where you should be putting your focus if you are worried about what is going on in in the US and the world today. Um, come back through your front door. <laughs> come back inside and, um, and really, really enjoy your own calm, safe, nurturing environment that you've created for yourself and your family. Very much open the door and come back inside. Okay, with those overlaying messages in mind, let's see what our messages for today will be. Messages. Mm. Okay, uh, now this is the devil, which is the focus of our of our reading today. These are two people very much chained to... Uh, to their outcomes and this I think this is pretty apt to what I was saying you know if you're fixated on what's going on um, outside of yourself and outside of your immediate environment it's time to step back break those chains of um, I guess it's fear that keeps us focused um, on on those things sometimes that we can't control, and we do have to have faith that that uh, you know in, in the universe that the universe will deliver good outcomes for us, for our countries, for our families. Um, you know, so this card, the devil, which is in this, I'm using my Celtic deck, is called the shadow. We we only see the eyes here. We can't really see the devil. The devil is masked in shadow. Um, so it's saying, you know, step back from your fears. Come back inside. As I said, I, when I, I started this reading, I saw a, a door open, your front door open. Step inside to the light um, and focus on your immediate environment. You know, the Knight of, the Knight of Pentacles is, uh, you know, or shields in some, some decks um, is, yeah, I mean, it's actually, it's, I mean, the Knight is coming forward with, I guess a, a proposal for us. Um, uh, you know, they're coming forward with reliability. They are the patient person. They're, um, I guess, you know, the, the, the message of this card in focusing on your internal environment is that you're actually focusing on something constructive to yourself, okay? Um, something more reliable than what than an unseen environment outside of yourself. You want to bring that view, bring that focus back inside, back into your immediate environment, so that there is reliability there. There, and it's a more constructive. Um, constructive uh, environment and the, and the proposal here is you know what are you going to choose come you've got your immediate environment to, to come you know you're, that's safe and that's there for you that you've created why not enjoy it okay and the tower you know because outside of yourself is this is this destruction and this chaos um, you know which is you know <sighs> Uh, you know, which is, which, I guess, which is what our fears are based on and which what it's what our fears can feed on. Um, so, you know, as I said, I did this reading in response to the bomb 
the bombs that have been sent through the the, the mail um, to the democratic leaders uh, and to the journalists, um, you know, we can't change for the moment until the midterms. <laughs> we can't change what Donald Trump is doing. We can't change that he's creating chaos on a national and a global scale. We can't change that. But we can stop focusing on it. Um, and we can put our focus on something else, something more reliable, um, something that's going forward. I mean, this knight is moving forward through the blizzard. He has his shield in hand, or she has her shield in hand. She's seated on top of the dragon, the mythical creature. You know, there's nothing dark about this card. In fact, it's a white background, pure as the driven snow. And it very much contrasts to the darkness of the shadow card. Where are you going to put your focus? Are you going to put it in the dark, or are you going to take it and put it on into, into more constructive, a more constructive environment? So the, this reading today is is a is a bit of a caution, not to let your fears, you know, addict you to to what's going on outside of in outs in your outside environment. Bring you bring your focus back inside. Step inside, um, and uh, and focus on your immediate environment. Uh, that you've created, which is safe. Uh, take take your gaze away from the chaos outside and instead put it on in constructive, more reliable um, uh, situations, people and environments. So that is the reading today. If we're looking for calmness amidst turmoil, um, then taking our gaze away from the shadow, away from the devil, <laughs> if you like, uh, we'll call it away from the more shadowy environment, bringing it inside um, and focusing on our home, our family, our loved ones is really the antidote to fear and, um, and, uh, and, and I guess anger and, and those more negative emotions that are very much living in the outside environment um, and are so... Uh, I guess, associated with uh, the outside, the larger environment that Donald Trump has created. Okay, if that helps, I hope it does. Um, and, uh, and also, the, you know, don't forget voting <laughs> midterms. You know, we can, you can change all of that. You can alter all of that um, and, you know, hopefully sanity will prevail. On a lighter note, viewers, um, there is incredible voter turnout in Texas. I did a reading on Beto and Ted Cruz. I, I might re revisit that um, and put a link in the comments section for you because I think I recall it was quite a positive reading. But there is, you know, massive, massive voter turnout in Texas and that's a great sign uh, for the future. Um, so thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those uh, that reading and those messages for today. Thank you.